G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we've come along to the National Dinosaur Museum and how awesome is this? We're gonna get inside and learn about lots of different dinosaurs, but specifically, we're gonna learn about herbivores today. Now, can you help me out? Do you know what a herbivore is? That's right, a herbivore is a plant eater. Now, did you know that herbivores are the biggest dinosaurs? That's right, they're really cool. Now, I can't wait to get inside and check them out. So come on, let's get stuck in. see what animals we can find. Of course we're going to see lots of dinosaurs, there's going to be lots of other animals too. Now to be a dinosaur it needs three things. It needs to have straight legs, it needs to have scales and it also needs to lay an egg. So let's go and see what kind of dinosaurs we can find. Now kids, obviously there's no dinosaurs that live anymore. They lived millions and millions of years ago. But there are three main periods that the dinosaurs lived. Now the first one, I found this awesome little sign just here is the Triassic period, and that's from like 250 to 200 million years ago. So just a little bit older than mum and dad. Then the second period is the Jurassic period, and that is from 200 to 145 million years ago. Still a very, very long time ago. And then the third and the more recent one is the Cretaceous period, but that's still 145 to 65 million years ago. So a super, super long time ago. But we, through research, have found out so much about dinosaurs. Now come and check this guy out. This is one of my favorites and this is the Stegosaurus. Come on, check it out. All right, kids, now this is called a Stegosaurus. It's an amazing animal and look at these bony plates at the top here. Now, when these guys were first discovered, they actually thought that these might have been wings. So they might have thought that the Stegosaurus could actually fly. But no, these are actually bones and you can see that these little nerves that go through here, they can go to the end of those bony plates and change color. So they can change from this light pinky red to a bright red so that they can attract a mate or also be used as a defense mechanism. Now, speaking of defense mechanisms, check out this bony tail, these bony spikes at the end here. And that's called a thalamizer, which is a pretty cool word. But the Stegosaurus use that and they swish their tail around and they can use those spikes to fend off any prey if they're being attacked. There are lots of cool facts. Speaking of cool facts, these big dinosaurs have the smallest brains out of any of the dinosaurs. Now kids, if you put your hands together like that, that's approximately the size of your brain in your head at home. Now if you do that with your hands, that's like the size of a walnut. And that is the size of the brain in these Stegosaurus. Now that would be a small brain in your head, wouldn't it? But can you imagine that brain in a dinosaur this size? Very, very small. But they look cool, they're super awesome. Let's go and see what other dinosaurs we can find. Come on. Now kids, this guy is called the Plateosaurus and it's from the Triassic period, which is the earliest period, 250 to 200 million years ago, a very long time ago. Now these guys eat plants, which means they're called a what? A herbivore, very good and they can grow up to about 10 metres long, which is super long. Now this one here, kids, 
This one is called a Parasyclotosaurus. Can you say that at home? Maybe get the help of mum and dad. A Parasyclotosaurus. It's a tongue twister. But he's an awesome looking animal. It's actually not a dinosaur because it has bent legs. So dinosaurs, what do we say? It needs to have straight legs, scales, and lay eggs. So this is not a dinosaur, but it hunts its prey by laying in water and it goes just like a crocodile. But it's also got webbed feet. So for that reason, we call it, its other name is a crocofrog. Pretty good one. Parasyclotosaurus or a crocofrog. So kids, we're standing here in the sauropod section and now the sauropod has four legs. They have huge big bodies, big long necks and super long tails. They are the biggest dinosaurs in the world. In fact, the biggest dinosaur in the world is a sauropod. It's 39 meters long and it's called an Argentinosaurus. Now these things, if you can imagine 39 meters is like the length of about three school buses or bigger than this whole building that I'm standing in here. That's long. Now kids, this that I'm standing next to is the back leg bone of a Diplodocus. Now look how tall it is. A Diplodocus could grow up to about 35 meters tall. But if you have a look, this is where its knee would have been. And that is just its leg as tall as Aussie. It's massive. Now if you come over here, these are bones from a Diplodocus tail. Now this Diplodocus would have been about 30 to 40 years old, but these bones are about 150 million years old. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Now this over here, kids, is a replica of one of the most complete skeletons ever found in the whole world. Now this is a Camarasaurus, and it's about two years old. And if you can imagine, when this Camarasaurus was born, it came out in an egg about the size of a soccer ball. Now within two years, it grew to be that big. Now kids, come and check this out. This is an awesome part of the National Dinosaur Museum. Some of the exhibits are behind glass, but some of them you can actually touch and feel. Now this is a leg bone of an Apatosaurus. It's 150 million years old. Now that, kids, that's epic. Now kids, we are in the Australian dinosaur section here. And it's interesting to know that most of the dinosaurs in Australia were herbivores. We obviously had lots of tasty plants in Australia. And the most famous Australian dinosaur is this guy here. And his name is a Matabatosaurus. Now one of the awesome features of the Matabatosaurus is this big lump on its nose. Now can you guess what he used that for? No, it wasn't for headbutting. Do you headbutt with your nose? No, I don't think so. This is part of the nasal passage, which allows the Matabatosaurus to make loud grunting noises to communicate and to fend off any prey. These guys could grow up to about eight meters long and they're found in outback Queensland in a place called Mataburra. Now kids, this particular dinosaur here is called a Cunbarosaurus. The interesting fact about this dinosaur is that it is the most complete dinosaur fossil in the whole of Australia. Now you can see by looking at this photo kids, it's actually a mummified skeleton of a dinosaur. You can see the bones, you can see the armoured plates and the skin. Now you can see down here kids, the stomach contents. So by looking at that, we know that the last meal of this dinosaur was ferns and flowers. So it was a herbivore. So kids, we've seen lots of dinosaurs and different animals inside. Now I believe there are some amazing ones outside. So come with me and let's go find them.
So check this out kids, this is a Triceratops. This is pretty much a life-size replica of what it would have looked like. It would have been about seven to eight meters long, but check out these massive horns on its head. And they would use those to defend off any predators like T-Rexes. These guys have little teeth because they were herbivores, so they wouldn't really hurt me. He's my friend. Kids, I'm standing here next to a Brachiosaurus, which has really long front legs compared to its short back legs, and then a little stumpy tail, but look at the size of that neck. And it is super tall, so that it can reach high up into the tree to eat those leaves, because it is a herbivore. That's right, kids. Awesome stuff. So I've found out here, kids, what's called a Parasaurolophus. You can check out this awesome crest on the back of its head, a bit like a Mudabutasaurus. It uses that to bring in the air, it goes up, and then all the way back out to make really loud noises. So you can see the Parasaurolophus is part of a herd here. This one's definitely my favorite, because check out the colors, green and gold, just like Ozzy. Look at this, kids. We know what this one is, don't we? Ozzy's favorite dinosaur, the Stegosaurus. And check out the little baby Stegosaurus. Wow kids, what an incredible experience it's been here today at the National Dinosaur Museum right here in Canberra. I hope you've learnt lots, I certainly have. Make sure you come along and check it out if you're ever in Canberra. Kids, better get out of here before these dinosaurs get me. We'll see you in our next video and until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, Go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of